Northern California woman who faked her own kidnapping faced a judge this afternoon. Sherry Papini admitted she lied about the kidnapping more than five years ago. Fox 40's Jean Nguyen is live at the federal courthouse in Sacramento with what happened in court today. Jeannie. Nikki, our cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom today, but Sherry Papini was visibly emotional when a judge addressed her. Her attorney even had to comfort her a few times, and this is all coming after she pled guilty to mail fraud and making false statements. Yes. Sherry Papini didn't say a word as she and her attorney walked into the federal courthouse this afternoon. It's never too late to do the right thing. She faced a judge today after admitting to faking her kidnapping back in November 2016. It didn't have to take this long. Captain Brian Jackson was the sergeant in charge of the major crimes unit at the Shasta County Sheriff's Office from the beginning of this case. Like with any other investigation, we uh, started just working with whatever information we had. At the time, the 34-year-old mother of two went missing after going on a jog near her home in Redding. About three weeks later, Papini was found along Interstate 5 in Yolo County, branded, bound, and bruised. She claimed she had been kidnapped by two women. From 2016 all the way through you know, 2020, um, yeah, we were... We're looking for the person's responsible. And it's time Jackson says he wishes he could get back after Papini admitted to faking the entire thing. Papini has pled guilty to lying to a federal officer and mail fraud, stemming from her requests to receive victims' compensation. Even when we confronted her with it, you know, with the, when uh, the detectives and the FBI agents confronted her with it, and she still didn't give us the information or come clean. During today's court hearing, Papini was visibly upset and spoke very softly when the judge addressed her. Her attorney even had to comfort her. Following the hearing, Papini had nothing to say to our camera, but her attorney had a few words. A lot of pain, a lot of sorrow. Now, Papini's guilty plea will officially be heard by a judge on Monday morning. Live in Sacramento, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.